Here's a presentation of an upcoming feature in the next Monkey application called Video Navigation. So I'll switch to full screen here, and I'll type the following, omega.gg slash vox. And so here we are. I click on play. OK, what you're seeing here is the first video hub on the internet. It's essentially a video that loops on itself, that repeats, and that displays a selection of what I call video tag, which are essentially smart QR code in order to address videos, video tracks and playlists. You can see that as an equivalent of DVD menus slash Blu-ray menus, except it's built for the internet with the network in mind, if you want. And so, as you can see here, we have four tags, Innovate, Electro, Retro, Hubs. So I'll move the cursor to Innovate. And as you can see, while moving the cursor, the Monkey application recognized that it was a QR code and actually highlighted it. So I'll click on that. Here we go. Let's do it again. OK, so when I'm doing that, what happens es essentially is that the application parses the video frame, the current video frame, extracts the QR code, the video tag, if you will, and then opens the contained playlist inside uh, the tag, inside the video, the video tag. And so I can navigate between them. I can open another one here, Electro, for instance. And so I'll play a video from the playlist. Now, it could either be a playlist, a feed, but also a track, which means that if I click on a video tag that contains a track, I get redirected to another video. So here, I've started playing a video, and there's a new button, actually two new buttons in the next Monkey application, and that's the backward bu button. It was already present on the motion box application, but it's now on the Monkey, and so I can click on it, or I can click backward on the mouse, and then I get back to the Vox page here. And so this enables comprehensive navigation between video content. Now, video tags are not solely on video hubs like this. It could, they could exist inside any video. Actually, you could publish your video tomorrow, tomorrow and put a video tag on the frame. Now, it could either be as an overlay, but it could also be an object inside the video. For instance, if you have a shirt with a tag, it could be scanned. If you have an object in the background with a video tag, it could be open to. So it's a whole new range of interaction for videos beyond just an overlay. Here I have a retro playlist. It's, it's actually a, a fun one because it lists a selection of television feed from France and the US, and you can select one. It's just like watching television, ex except you're inside the Monkey application. So here, for instance, I'll open the NASA, the NASA television. And so it's pretty neat because it's like a window to the past. It's like the television of the beginning of the, you know, the television of the last decade. I can go back here. And there's a fourth one called hubs. So hubs are essentially, I don't know if you remember, but, but back in the days at the beginning of the web, we had links at the bottom of the, of the web page or on the side, on the, on the bar, on the side. And you had essentially a selection of links that were relevant to, to the given topic of a, of a selected website. It's a, it's, a bit, it's a bit of the same. For instance, I can click on one here, and that's a hub dedicated to Coldplay here. And here we go. And so, as you can see, it's like the previous one, except the background changed, and the foreground video tags here are different. So I'll click on Album here, for instance and I get the entire Coldplay album. So I can click on one.
And once I'm done, I can go back. I could even go back to the first page and back to the last one. Okay. Here, I can click here and I have the clips, video clips for the selected album I'm showcasing here. And a live playlist with a selection of live tracks from the artist. And here, still that video hub button playlist essentially with a selection of hub. So I click on the third one here. And now we're visiting a hub dedicated to a movie. And so you have a little bit of a, a glimpse of the movie in the background. You have four button here. Now keep in mind this button would be interactive from a PC, but also a smartphone. And so it's, uh, it's, it's like a, a whole extension of the UI here. So here I have the trailers, for instance. You can click on one. And once I'm done, I can go back to it. Again, the hubs. So I could go back to different, different video pages, essentially, navigating to them. And I can even play the movie here if I want. So I'll do that now. I've heard it's a pretty good movie. Yeah, exactly what I expected. <laughs> 